I happened to hear Hillary Clinton say that I was not against the war in Iraq. I was totally against the war in Iraq. From a, you can look at Esquire magazine from 04. You can look at before that. And I was against the war in Iraq because I said it's going to totally destabilize the Middle East, which it has. It has absolutely been a disastrous war. And by the way, perhaps almost as bad was the way Barack Obama got out. Donald Trump last night during the Commander in Chief Forum on NBC, Mr. Trump continues to say he was opposed to the Iraq War despite his earlier utterances than 2004 in Esquire that he referenced, and of course, his opponent, Mrs. Clinton, saying otherwise. Donald Trump and Secretary Clinton spoke directly to a crowd of veterans on a range of issues Americans are concerned about. So, as the race for the White House heats up, What's the view from Capitol Hill? Joining us now via Skype, Republican Congressman Brian Babin of Texas. Congressman Babin is the chairman of the Subcommittee on Space, part of the House Committee on Science, Space, and Technology. And Congressman Babin is also a member of the House Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure. Brian, it's so good to have you tonight here on Newsmax Prime. We appreciate your time. Great to be with you, J.D. Now, Always great to be with you. Amen, Brian. Good to have you likewise here. Now, Mr. Trump uh, took on the topic of how the current commander-in-chief is treating general staff officers and flag officers. Listen to what Mr. Trump had to say. I think under the leadership of Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, the generals have been reduced to rubble. They have been reduced to a point where it's embarrassing for our country. You have a force of 30,000 or so people. Nobody really knows, but probably 30,000 people. And I can just see the great, as an example, General George Patton spinning in his grave as ISIS we can't beat. Uh, so I want to ask you, Brian Babin, as an Air Force veteran, do you agree with Mr. Trump? I agree with him 100 percent. I mean, look at the littered. Uh, discards and forced retirements uh, and resignations that, that have come out of this Obama administration from his top brass and his, his, his Department of Defense, uh, his own Secretaries of Defense. Uh, the man uh, does not take uh, advice. Obviously, his secretary, former Secretary of State Clinton did not take much advice as well. Uh, we could see that from the report we got back from the Benghazi Committee. and. Uh, you know, the, the contrast couldn't be more stark, more plain uh, between these two uh, nominees. Uh, I think uh, Mr. Trump has surrounded himself with warrior generals. He's given them uh, their, their orders to come up with a, a plan to, to defeat and destroy ISIS within 30 days. He wants to rebuild our military, peace through strength, the philosophy of uh, Ronald Reagan. Uh, same, when I was in the Air Force, uh, I was under uh, President Carter. When I got out, I started working for Reagan, and I was very pleased to see him. The uh, first thing right out of, the, out of the box, he rebuilt our military. And uh, so I think, I think it's time to have a strong leader, a leader that will stand up uh, for our troops, for our nation, and uh, where our allies begin to trust us once again, and our, our, our uh, enemies will begin to respect us and fear us once again. Brian, I want to talk to you more about policy as a predicate for politics. This whole deal about the payoff to Iran. We knew about 400 million in ransom money, but now we understand that over 1.3 billion dollars additionally has been given back to Iran. What should Congress be doing to prevent further dispersals of that big money to that dictatorial regime in Iran. I think we ought to try to get the money back. There, it is an absolute disgrace. Once again, this, this uh, president, his administration, has disgraced our country, our nation. And, uh, you know, back in 1801, back during President Jefferson, uh, uh, Thomas Jefferson's uh, uh, administration, he said millions for defense, not one penny for tribute. And we fought the Barbary pirates, we've defeated them, and now here we are breaking that rule, paying to, uh, tribute again, a ransom. We're being, we're being told it's called, a, it's called leverage. Well, I don't buy that for a second. 
I would uh, concur. Just another example. I will tell you what, Brian Babin, we very much appreciate your perspective tonight from Capitol Hill. Look forward to having you back on Newsmax Prime real soon and take good care.